I survived 300 days in a Minecraft war. If you haven't seen the first 200 days of this series, I'd highly suggest you go back and get caught up. We've had fights, betrayal, and disaster. But in today's video, we begin our comeback. So sit back, relax, and get ready. This is 300 days in a Minecraft war. After we were driven out of our facility last episode, we were sent into hiding and had nothing except the loot on our back. So, because we were bunkered up hiding from the outlaws, this made gathering resources much harder than usual since we wanted to make sure that we could stay hidden. This meant that instead of going to the surface, we had to dive into the caves of this world and mine up as many resources as we could to help get back on our feet. So after we spent quite a while mining, gathering ores and cooking it all up, we were able to craft ourselves a few weapons that we could use for defense if needed. So now that we had some weapons and could properly defend ourselves, we headed out. We wanted to head back to our facility that was taken down by the outlaws during the previous attack. But on the way there, we came across a new addition to the world. There's a new building there. Try not to get seen. I have no... That definitely was not here last time we came here. I think it's huge. I wonder what- I don't have a clue what's going to be going on in there. They've put it right next to that place. I can't see anyone, but I don't know if we're just out of render distance. This place was brand new, and it had been built right next to the Outlaws campsite that we had found during our escape from the facility. But before we got caught snooping around here, we continued to head towards the old base to see if we could find any loot left behind. Whatever we could get would help us not only to protect ourselves better, but also help us start rebuilding our team. So we headed over to see what we could get. Alright, just make sure there's nobody here. Oh, there's dead bodies. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yep, this place is well and truly destroyed. Wow. There's bodies everywhere. Just see what loot you can grab. There's gonna be... Loot the bodies. If there's any chests, grab stuff out of the chests. This place is so much worse than I was expecting. Oh, marine helmet. Take take the helmets. I got a grenade as well. Take the helmets. We can um, we can use those as like cover, like disguise if we need to. This is a barret and stuff. What else is going on here? There's a, oh, there's another body there. Oh, there's two more. Oh, whoa, whoa. two more there. Loot up, loot up. Take the helmets. Take the stims as well. There's more than oh, I can actually carry. That's true, stims. Come on, take the stims. There's more than I can carry here. This is all clear over here. There's just a bunch of crates, but they're all empty. There's nothing else. Oh! There's a helicopter or something. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get down. It's flying right over us. Is it landing here? I have no idea if it's landing. Just get down. Make sure you don't get seen. Right, it's gone. I can't see it. I think we should start going soon. We don't want to get caught here. We've only just come out. Last thing I want to do now is get into a fight, really. Alright, I'm happy. I've got three helmets. i got a load of ammo. I'm pretty comfortable to leave. you got enough stuff. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Ooh, might as well just get out of here. No point in sticking around when we've got what we can. If we, 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 There's always more stuff that we can come back for, which is most important. We left this place with some very helpful items. Most importantly, the outlaw's uniform. So as we slipped away into the night, the moon lifted into the sky. And when morning came around, we were still traveling home. But then, something quite unexpected happened. Oh, oh, oh. What? I can't see oh. there's a house right there. Is there a high... Wait, put the marine helmet on, put the marine helmet on. I think we're outlaws. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Oh, there's a guy literally right there, right there, right there. Wait, 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 wait. Right in front of us. Hide. I'm, I'm down. Oh, okay, he's run away, he's run away. Did he see us? No, 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 he didn't. I saw he back off for now. Yeah. Wait, where are you? I'm gonna drop back down towards the water. Yeah, yeah, oh, I see yeah you are. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's keep these helmets on for now. Let's try and just get home. Alright. Since we both had inventories filled with loot, we decided to stay away from this village for now. If we could come back here empty-handed and do a sneak attack on these people, we could leave with another couple of inventories filled with loot to help us with our comeback. And thanks to our new helmets that we just scavenged from the bodies at the old base, we could do the attack under the outlaw's identity. 
So after checking the outlaw's land on the way home to see if we could get any more clues as to what was going on inside, we saw nothing new, so continued walking home and eventually made it back and dropped off all of our loot. The outlaws were really starting to expand their land a lot, and if we didn't find out what was going on soon, it may be too late to fix it. After a few days passed, it was time to make a trip back towards that village we found. Our plan was to attack this village in outlaw uniform stolen from the dead bodies. This way, none of what we did would be traced back to us and would all be blamed on the outlaws. So one night, we snuck out into the forest, past the outlaws' base, and then just as the day started to break, we arrived at the village. Now we had to be stealthy. Oh, I see someone, I see someone. Yeah, yeah I see him. I don't know who that is. Oh, I think someone's coming into the farm. Nope, they're just going out. I want to try and make my way down to that house. Okay, they're chopping the trees. I don't see anyone. The coast looks clear. Should we just make a run for it? Do you want to try and get in this house to the right here? Yeah, yeah. I mean, to the right or left? Oh, that one. Yeah, right, right, right. I'm going in, going in, going in. I'm in the door. Oh, God, clear. I think that guy may have seen him. I think he may have seen right, just me. Get upstairs, get upstairs, get ready. If he comes in, just kill him. Did you shut the door? Yeah. We should be alright then, if we hear the door. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just shut. I saw someone, but I don't know if he saw me back. Oh, it's raining. Oh, it's, get, it's getting misty now. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, you just look, watch the door. I'm gonna loot. There's so much stuff. Oh, yeah. Actually, wait, can you come and grab some grab some stuff? There's so much coal and stuff. My inventory's already full. There's iron. Yeah, yeah I'm grabbing it. Grabbing. Oh, there's copper in there as well. Copper. Nice. Yeah, I grabbed it. We just need to find a way to get out of here. That window is going to bait us out. I'm going to make a run. Right, we're out. Oh, there's someone that Someone throwing eggs. He's on the bridge. Am I, am I safe to come down? Yes. All right. Okay. We could go to this one to the left. Yeah, I think we should try and make a run for it. Let me just double check the house. Or... The one to the left. Yeah. Get in for cover. That, that one gonna... guy with the name tag could be a problem. Where is he? Over there, to your right. He's... He may be... I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, right, I'm running. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, there's no door on this. <laughs> Go upstairs. Let's cover upstairs, I'll get upstairs. God. Okay, these ones are empty. Oh. Whew. Okay. Now Almost... we've got a problem. We've got no windows to check now if the coast is clear. We're literally <sighs> just trapped here. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, he's moved. He's moved. He's moved. Oh. Oh, yeah. Right, go. Get out. Wait, get he's, out, running get out he's running back. He's running back. No, 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 no. You see you? No. Ow. Oh, my God, bro. Ow. <laughs> oh. We were trapped in here. And if we left now, we would be spotted without a doubt. But just as all hope was about to be lost, one final plan came to mind. If I shoot that glass, it'll break, and we'll be able to crawl out. Oh, that's true, that's true. That, right, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, oh, he's right there, he's right there. Should we just go for it? I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Let's go for a chocolate basic. I'm out, I'm out. Right. right, same, same. Let's hide here. Let's get back, in, get back in the forest a bit. Okay, okay. There's another house right here. I wonder if there's... Wait, is there a window at the back that we can smash? Oh, yeah, there's quite a few. Oh, there's, there's a guy in that farm right there. Where? I'm, I'm getting down. Where? In that, that farm, literally to, to our left. I'm going to shoot the window from here. Okay. Got it. Right. I see him. He's in the farm. Is he AFK, do you think? Nah, he's only just got there. He can't be. Where are you? Okay, you're hiding behind that one. He is looking directly over here. I don't know if he's fishing, though. He's in the water. Oh, is he coming over? He is fishing. Maybe he wasn't looking at me then. Maybe he's just fishing. There's two of them. Another one's coming over. I could snipe him right now. He's down in one shot without a shadow of a doubt. Right, I have my scopes on him. There's two of them. There's two of them. Right. So, Two so of them by the pool. You get, you get your scopes on the one on the right. He's farming on the right. You see him? Farming? 
Oh, there's three. Oh, there's, there's, three, three. there's three. There's three. There's three. Oh, okay, this is gonna be tough then. Should we shoot? We shooting? I, I don't have any scopes on them. I do. I do. Go. 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 Right, I'm down. They're running. They're running. Yeah, I'm. Might as well try and leave that place. I'm oh. gonna go in. I'm going through this window. Oh, he's right there. He's right there. Got Shoot him. him. Nice, okay. nice, nice, nice. Right, I'm through the window. Good. What's in here? Right. Yeah, I got some uh, carrots. Yeah. This this one. Are they over there. Which one? Where are you? This big. Uh, this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming over. There's no one in there. Some arrows over here. There's I can someone. hit someone. I hit... Oh, oh, oh. Got one. Nice. There's another one. He's got guns. He's got guns. They're hiding. If yeah. they get a peek of our skins, it's done. It's turning daytime. They're going to start that. seeing let's more go, now. Let's go, let's, go, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Once again, with two inventories filled with stolen loot, we escaped into the forest and headed home. This village had no idea who had attacked them, and now we could arrive home with more loot to use to help us take down the outlaws, which was seeming more and more likely day by day. So after putting a few more of our supplies to work, we headed back out. We wanted to keep some surveillance on the outlaws, and to do that we needed to set up a hidden scouting spot just short of their land that we would be able to use to check up on them. But as we were heading over towards our spot that we chose previously, we stumbled across a new location that seemed much better. It's this one right here. This is like very small. I think but it could sure work could... though. Yeah, yeah, this could we, definitely we could work. Take something into the side. Oh, it's so much closer as well. I feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, wait. What's the other side looking like? I, I don't really want to. There's like a stone bit. Oh, mate, that is perfect. That is perfect. If you just have a quick look over the edge. It's like oh, yeah, yeah, stone. Yeah. It's like perfect. Right, let's just dig a little thing here. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I just don't want to dig out the other side by accident. This place was perfect less than 100 blocks from the exact place that we needed to keep our eyes on at most times. So me and Barry got to work digging this place out. We found a very useful thing in this mod pack, a block that lets us see through one side, but looks like a completely normal block from the other side. This would allow us to have a 100% view of the outlaws whilst they had no idea that they were even being watched. So we set up the blocks and tested our tactic. It was perfect. From the outside, this looked like a completely normal mountain, which allowed our window from the inside to be kept perfectly hidden. So after waiting for a few days to not cause too much suspicion over the activity nearby, we started moving in some important things to aid our surveillance. This included UAV stations. These things let us send UAVs out that we can control to get a much closer look as to what is actually going on over there. So that is exactly what we did. All right, so if I just put the UAV inside of here, it should let me click into, there we go. Yes, all right. Let's go and see exactly what we can find over here. This thing is pretty loud, but it's very small. So hopefully it doesn't draw too much suspicion. Ooh, just stay away from this place a little bit. What's inside? I saw someone stood there. I can't see anything in the windows. I'm trying to get up close just so I can just try and see anything. Wait, is that Dan? Wait, I swear to God I can see Dan inside of there. I think it's a prison. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. What? There is a zoom key, but I don't know how it works. That is definitely Dan. There it is. Okay. That is him. 100%. Oh. They got me. They blew it up. All right. It was 100% Dan. I'm not even lying. No doubt about it. So it's a prison then. This information was huge. It turns out that this was a prison all along. A prison that one of our old members was stuck inside of. But as the realization hit that if we wanted our member back, we'd have to break him out, that was also when a new completely improvised plan started. The UAV that had been shot down by the outlaws had exploded and caused a fire to break out. And as the fire was starting to spread, two of their members left the prison to put out the fire. 
That was when we came up with a new plan. We wanted to carry on setting the forest on fire to lure two of their members back out of the prison. That way we could kill them and walk straight into the prison in their uniform and break our members out before the outlaws realized that we weren't their teammates. So we grabbed a flint and steel and headed into the forest. Alright, I don't see anyone so the coast looks pretty clear. I just have to set some trees on fire and hope that some of these guys come out. Which ones should I even do? I don't see anyone. Alright, let's do the one. If we can get the closer ones, let's do these ones. Then hopefully, they'll see. If I do it too far into the forest, then... Right, that should be enough. Yeah, I, I want to make sure that they see it so they come out. I just don't want to bait out the, the little hill base. Now, we just have to wait. Oh, it's spreading a lot. Come on. Where are they at? Oh, it's big. Oh, yeah, this is... That's spreading so much. As the fire burned into the night, there was no sign of outlaws coming to put this out. So eventually, we just had to pack our bags and head home. We realized that if we wanted to break our members out of the prison, we'd have to do a real breakout. So as we arrived back home, we spent a few days preparing, and then early one morning, we left. It was time to get our team back. Alright, are you ready? Sweet. Let's do this. It's time to get our team back. There it is. Just remember, straight in, straight out. We just can do our best. As long as we don't die, we can't lose here. Oh, they're shooting. All right, get up, get up. Yeah, I'm out. Oh, it's, oh, oh, watch out, oh. There goes our escape plan. They got anti-aircraft. Right, okay. Oh, How I'm already getting shot. shot. They're in there. They're all inside. Drop in, drop in, drop in, drop in. I'm in. I'm in as well. There's a hatch there. Watch out. The door. There's no people though. I don't see anyone. I'm, I'm, I'm getting down. I want to see if there's anyone through that door first. Oh! Oh, literally hello. right there. Do you want to open it? I'll spasm. Go. Dead. Just don't spaz each other. Dead, 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 nice. Dead. Oh, oh, anyone else? Another one, another one. Dead. Down. All right. Oh, oh, wait. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Blow him. Oh! Watch oh, that... out, watch out below, oh. watch out below. Have you got down? They're coming up, they're coming up. Oh no, 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 no. Boys, follow me, follow me. Oh my god. Go, just go, just so go. So loud. Yeah. Run. Oh. Oh my god, I'm getting lit up. Watch out, the boys are going to probably shoot us as well by accident. Oh. Wait, wait is it done? Oh, fit, Dan. flip in. Run, 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 get out. Run, 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 go, 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 go. Just go, just go, just go, just go. Jump, get out, run. Let's pick up. Finn, come this way. I don't know. Yeah, I'm getting lit up still. I'm trying to run, run to the right a little bit. 
just so they don't follow, like, just follow this way. Alright, boys, we're almost home. Just keep following. It's just this way. Finally, the members that were captured back at the facility were back out of the prison. And with three more members added back to the team, our comeback was looking promising. So we headed into the bunker and gathered up. We had to start deciding what was best for our team and how we would come back to take down the outlaws for good, since their team and land is growing more and more each day. We explained what happened at the village to the team, and we came up with the idea that we would now go to the villagers in our uniform and offer them help against the outlaws, since they still had no idea that it was us that did the attack on them a few days previously. We let a few days pass before we went to speak to the villagers. We had no clue if the outlaws were still out looking for us, so we stayed on the safe side. And as I was hiding, I wrote a book for them. It said, hello, we are the army. We came across your base a few weeks ago and didn't want to approach you in case you were hostile. We saw that your base was small and you could possibly need some protection. If that's something you're interested in, please meet us in five days at this location. Come alone and we can talk about protection. So with the book, I left the bunker and headed over towards our helicopter. And then I attached a container to the heli that had the book inside. This way I could lift a container and fly over the villager's base to drop the crate. So as the sun slipped away, I flew off into the night. There it is. We're coming in hot. I need to lower myself down a little bit. And then when we get a little bit closer, I can drop. There we go. All right, let's get out of here quickly before they start shooting me down. Oh, I don't like flying that low. Now, if I just land this perfectly back home, successful mission. There we go. Now we've just got to wait for five days and see if uh, see if they come and meet us. So that's exactly what I did. I know they got that message. Now all we had to do was wait around until the day we agreed to meet. When I arrived, I was all alone. Nobody else had arrived yet, but after a few minutes, the leader of the villagers showed up. As promised, I spoke to him about protection and offered it to his team for the right price. He did not hesitate to tell me about the attack that had happened not too long ago, and said that protection is definitely something that he needs. We discussed pricing, and after talking for pretty much the whole day, he agreed to pay the price that we asked for. So with the deal done, we left this place and headed back towards their base. But before we left, I set fire to this tent, making sure that no traces of this meeting were left behind for the outlaws to find. Then, as I arrived at their village, I had to play it cool and act like I had never been here before, even though I had attacked this place with Barry not too long ago. Their leader took me on a tour and showed me all of their houses. This alliance was the start of something good, one that we hoped would eventually lead to the downfall of the outlaws.